inspired by the mystical shape of a fractal, a new organizational business structure was revealed to me. Suddenly, there was an urge to help the manifestation of something big, divisible but long-lasting. Something that would be so contagious that would resonate with each of its participants' inner sea. A shared vision of a new way of enterprise, whose only mission would be to enrich, heal, and celebrate human existence. Each one of us deep inside have a great power, a creative power, by due to the misperceptions that each one of us have of our environment, our inherent socio-economic agreements, as well as the ever-growing competitive modern society, we are not able to allow this creativity, this great power to flourish. This organization's main goal will be to promote, to serve as a fertile ground, a fertile ground for these seeds of creativity that when put together on a collective scale will enrich each other mutually and have a magnifying effect on every creative impulse of its members. With this collective creative power we feel that we will be able to rapidly counteract the imbalance created by self-interest that in a collective scale could be interpreted as a capitalistic, egoistic attitude and taken to its words exponent, egoistic corporations. By attracting the rising population of conscious people and allow them to explore and regain hold of their creative power, we will be able to generate a very strong conscious force. Once people understand the collaborative vision of this organization, they will realize that by aligning themselves with the ever-growing common goal of working as a brother, and at the same time doing what they like doing most, a radical change will be accelerated in the world. Enriching life should be this organization's motivation. Enriching life by encouraging individuals to work for a cause, not only for profit, and by facilitating the tools so that they can access a deeper fulfillment than what money can offer. The concept is to shift the focus of the attention on profit by inspiring a greater reward, joy. The reward of enjoying what you do without overlooking the satisfaction of individual wealth. A hybrid view that will not be exclusive, rather would emphasize the interdependence of both, so that the members can benefit from enjoying what they do and economic prosperity, both at the same time. When you zoom in, you see them coming up again, so you see self-similarity. You see, by zooming in, you zoom, 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 you're zooming in, you're zooming in, and pop. Suddenly, it seems like you're exactly where you were before, but you're not. It's just that way down there, it has the same kind of structure as way up here, and the sameness can be grokked. This principle aims to explain the indestructibility of the organization structure, or in other words, the indestructibility of human hope and consciousness. This same principle could apply in both directions, inwards and outwards, which means that by putting together same segments, same vision, they would fall organically into a rhythmic, symmetrical vision that would move confidently breaking all patterns with an uninterested, egoless approach. The structure. The idea lies on creating a hybrid, non-for-profit investment corporation that acts as an investor, lender, promoter, thus receiving a percentage income from its investment then reinvesting this income and funding new businesses, 
thereby creating an empowering circle of capital. The model aims to serve as a conscious, non-for-profit conglomerate investment commune bank. The key aspect is serving as an investment company. In this way, this corporation will be able to invest and support entrepreneurs on the basis of allowing the company, Awareness Corp, to be the main shareholder, 51% ownership of their prospect business. In other words, this would mean funding entrepreneurs that would be willing to put their self-interest as a secondary priority and common prosperity as first. This crucial point serves to align and commit the members to the vision and common goal without taking away their complete independence, freedom and decision-making power over their businesses. This key aspect needs to be developed in further detail, by the idea behind it is a mutual empowering circle of capital that preserves independence of its members. There are already plenty of people that are willing to put their self-interest as a secondary priority. They are everywhere and in growing numbers, but unable to find a matrix that would support their initiatives, they opt for volunteering or in other cases end up losing their motivation due to their limited perspectives or lack of opportunities. I'm not saying that volunteering is a bad thing, but very few of these individuals are able to sustain this kind of life, this impulse. In time, limitability and lack of vision erodes their hopes and throws them back to society doing what everybody else is doing, competing in this rat race, without being able to quantify or replicate their contribution. Of course, there are exceptions. For example, let's take one individual, a good scholar, just graduated from college. He feels this urge to do something for humankind, and eventually he ends up volunteering in a school in a poor country. Do you see how limited he is there? Now, if this same individual comes to this organization, he volunteers for it in fields of his interest. His ideas are encouraged diversely, from his studies, experience with the organization and network's posture, let's say that he identifies a method to improve the efficiency of waste management. Then he gets the funding, he forms a company, he changes the world. Now he is aware that one person does make the difference. He can quantify his contribution and even be encouraged to continue changing and improving life on Earth. Now in a greater scale due to his available capital. By being able to support new creative ideas and businesses, an all-inclusive, self-sufficient process will be triggered and will incentive more and more people to work for the common without overlooking their personal rewards. The idea will also be to offer volunteering options to those who have no starting capital whatsoever. They would contribute learn and enjoy volunteering for the corporation, at the same time they will be accumulating credits towards the funding of their own businesses or develop a professional career on an existing one. They would contribute by volunteering on a wide variety of projects, thereby gaining the experience in different fields and at the same time they will be refining their business plans. 
they will take the advantages of being rotated through different businesses of their interest, which can be related to the operational aspects of their ideas, until they earn enough credits and a strong business plan to apply for funding. Awareness Corp will be a dynamic, interrelated communion that will facilitate members and new entrepreneurs the creation of vertical and horizontal integrations, thus becoming a cooperative interlink that facilitates even more the startup and success of their visions. By becoming a conglomerate, the interaction, the interlink between member companies will empower each other in many different ways. For example, one entrepreneur opens a farm that produces organic tomatoes. Another one decides to open an ecological transportation company. And another one opens a waste-free Italian restaurant. Now, they will be part of a vertical integration that will empower each other by being aligned with the same vision thereby becoming a circle of suppliers and consumers that will make easier the coverage of the essential break-even to start up and maintain their corporation during crucial stages or while ideas, projects and experiences mature. Now, this principle of interconnectivity will work as a snowball effect so that the more members, the greater integration, interaction possibilities, which finally represents a greater available capital, great success rates for members' ideas and visions. Revolution, revolution, to make a solution.